as some examples in case uh, you know, you're looking for some. You can talk to your favorite LLM uh, to get ideas. You can describe your particular business uh, and it will provide lots of agentic ideas for you. Uh, but to get your brain cells churning, um, code generation is a straightforward example. So generating pseudocode, um, checking for architectural soundness, uh, transforming that pseudocode into actual code, all of these things can be handled by agents. In fact, as you'll see in module two today, you can have agents be a whole team of software developers working for you on whatever software development task. Medical diagnosis is a cool one that potentially has a, a lot of impact. So you can have specialized models for neurology, for, uh, for dermatology, whatever kind of situation that's multimodal, can take images, video, can hear the patient's voice and be providing uh, better medical diagnoses than ever before. A scientific literature review. You can have research papers analyzed by multiple LLMs focusing on different aspects of the paper. Uh, and then you can actually have an, an agentic AI system, a multi-agent system design and run experiments for you. So this has already been done, for example, in machine learning, where you know, some budget is provided to the AI system to do a literature review, come up with experiments, and run those experiments on compute, on cloud compute, and then write up the results fully autonomously. And it won't be long before that kind of thing is happening in wet labs as well. So there's already talk of this, there are people working on it, Big pharmaceutical companies, for example, can have agentic systems designing experiments not just to run in silico on computers, but run in the real world uh, using you know, robotic arms, these kinds of things, in order to run biological, chemical experiments in a wet lab uh, fully autonomously, and then write up the paper. As you're getting the impression, we can replace more and more tasks, study, starting with things like uh, customer support. And so more and more tasks can be handled by agents. It may be possible in our lifetime, maybe in a decade or two, to have a billion dollar firm with no employees. Seriously, it's possible. All right, that got a chuckle, <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't be shocked. Maybe we need someone to sue. So then there needs to be a human to sue. Or maybe we'll have legislation that agents are people too. <laughs>